It was created by none other than the Rockefellers and maybe even someone even higher than them, let's be honest. But this is their secret in their closets, of things that they wanted to follow. And when if you're a conspiracy theorist or a critical thinker and you're aware of what's been going on in the world, you're going to know exactly how suitable this is. This is written word for word and I want to read it to you. Okay, so bear with me. The secret an illusion it will be so large so vast it will escape their perception those who will see it will be thought of as insane we'll create separate fronts to prevent them from seeing the connection between us we will behave as if we are not connected to keep the illusion alive our goal will be accomplished one drop at a time so as to never bring suspicion upon ourselves this will also prevent them from seeing the changes as they occur we will always stand above the relative field of their experience for we know the secrets of the absolute we will work together always and we will remain bound by blood and secrecy. Death will come to he who speaks. We will keep their lifespan short and their minds weak while pretending to do the opposite. We will use our knowledge of science and technology in subtle ways so that they will never see what's happening. We will use soft metals, aging accelerators and sedatives and food and water also in the air. They will be blanketed by poisons everywhere they turn. The soft metals will cause them to lose their mind. We will promise to find a cure from our many fronts, yet we will find we will, yet we will feed them more poison. The poisons will be absorbed through their skin and mouths, and they will destroy their minds and reproductive system. From all this, their children will be born dead, and we will conceal this information. The poisons will be hidden in everything that surrounds them and what they drink, eat, breathe, and wear. We must be ingenious in dispensing the poisons, for they can see far. We will teach them that the poisons are good with fun images and musical tones. Those they look up to will help. We will enlist them to push our poisons. They will see our products being used in the film and will grow accustomed to them and will never know their true effect. When they give birth, we will inject poisons into the blood of their children and convince them that it's for their help. We will start early on when their minds are young. We will target their children with what the children love most, sweet things. When their teeth decay, we will fill them with metals that will kill their mind and steal their future. When their ability to learn has been affected, we will create medicine that will make them sicker and cause other diseases for which we will create yet more medicine. We will render them docile and weak before us by our power. They will go depressed, slow and obese. And when they come to us for help, we will give them more poison. We will focus their attention toward money and material goods so they many never connect with their inner self. We will distract them with fornication, external pleasures and games so that they may never be one with the oneness of it all. Their minds will belong to us and they will do as we say. If they refuse, we shall find ways to implement mind altering technology into their lives. We will use, we will use fear as our weapon. We will establish the governments and establish opposites within. We will own both sides. We will always hide our objective, but carry out our plan. They will perform the labor for us and we shall prosper from their toil. Our families will never mix with theirs. Our blood must be always pure, for it is the way. We will make them kill each other when it suits us. We will keep them separated from the oneness by dogma and religion. We will control all aspects of their lives and tell them what to think and how. We will grow them kindly and gently, letting them think that they are guiding themselves. We will foment animosity between them through our factions. When a light shall shine among them, we shall extinguish it by ridicule or death, whichever suits it best. We will make them rip each other's hearts apart and kill their own children. We will accomplish this by using hate as our ally, anger as our friend. The hate will blind them totally, and never shall they see that from their conflicts we emerge as their rulers. They will be busy killing each other. They will bathe in their own blood and kill their neighbors for as long as we see fit. We will benefit greatly from this, for they will not see us, for they cannot see us. We will continue to prosper from their wars and their deaths. They shall repeat this over and over until our ultimate goal is accomplished. We will continue to make them live in fear and anger through images and sounds. We will use all the tools we have to accomplish this. The tools will be provided by their labor. We will make them hate themselves and their neighbors. We will always hide the divine truth from them, that they were all one. This they must never know. They must never know that a man's color is an illusion. They must always think that they are not equal. Drop by drop, we will advance our goal. We will take over their land, resources, and wealth to exercise total control over them. We will deceive them into accepting laws that will steal the little freedom they will have. We will establish a money system that will imprison them forever, keeping them and their children in, in debt. When they shall band together, we'll accuse them of crimes and present a different story to the world, for we shall own all the media. We will use our media to control the flow of information and their sentiment in our favor. When they shall rise up against us, we'll crush them like insects, for they are less than that. They will be helpless to do anything, for they will have no weapons.
We will recruit some of their own to carry out our plans. We will promise them eternal life, but eternal life they will never have, for they are not us. The recruits will be called initiates and will be indoctrinated to believe false rites of the passage through higher realms. Members of these groups will think that they are one with us, never knowing the truth. They must never learn this truth, for they will turn against us. For their work, they will be rewarded with earthly things and great titles, but never will they become immortal and join us. Never will they receive the light and travel the stars. They will never reach their higher realms, for the killing of their own kind will prevent passage to the realm of enlightenment. This they will never know. The truth will be hidden in their face, so close they will not be able to focus on it until it's too late. Oh yes, so grand the illusion of freedom will be that they will never know that they are our slaves. When all is in place, the reality will have created for them the reality we will have created for them will own them. This reality will be their prison. They will live in self-delusion. When our goal is accomplished, a new era of domination will begin. Their minds will be bound by their beliefs, the beliefs we have established from time. But if they ever find out they are our equal, we shall perish. This they must never know. If they ever find out that together they can vanquish us, they will take action. They must never ever find out what we have done, for if they do, we shall have no place to run, for it will be easy to see who we are once the veil has fallen. Our actions will have revealed who we are, and they will hunt us down, and no person shall give us shelter. This is the secret by which we shall live the rest of our present and future lives, for this reality will transcend many generations and lifespans.